12 marbles are ready to race today at event one of glass car the sunstorm grand prix may I remind you to check out the marble sports worldwide podcast a podcast that will cover all aspects of this race on the weekly show and all other fubeca races in the future look it up on youtube marble sports worldwide podcast also don't forget of course to subscribe to fubeca for more content rainforest in the poles, sitter position, followed by Penguin, Canarium, Nitro, Ivory in the top five. And in the bottom two, Volcano and Dragon's Tail. Take a look at those top five and the bottom two during the race. See if a comeback story will mount or if those top five will struggle a little bit facing the other elite competitors below them. Handing over these marbles, they all look ready to race, poised, composed. At the start, first race of glass car. All the officials lined up as well as the fans and the trainers. Nervous but excited for the inaugural race of glass car. The lights are all on and we are rolling Rainforest out to the right side immediately and Canarium will jump to the lead already, hitting those guidelines. So moving out there and let's take a look at Ivory now at first place. Nitro just behind as they go up through the self-propulsion system for the first time. These guidelines here, pieces of foam kind of messing with the marbles a little bit, moving them around. Nitro into the lead. And look at Volcano already starting in 11th place. And he has jumped up to second place. Youngest competitor in glass car this year, a rookie. Certainly showing that he's here to race. Ivory moving around. A collision there with Nitro. Has the lead. Nitro trying to push back on the left side. No movement there. Just take a look at Volcano moving behind Nitro. Drafting, gaining some speed. And Ivory's losing some speed. Now uh, Volcano here to the left side. And now going to move past. Grab the lead here in lap 3. 20 laps on this circuit. Volcano has established a huge lead. Nitro and Ivory both slowing down. After that collision with him, he's going around the hairpin through the chicane, trying to maintain the gap he has. Behind Ivory, we have Penguin moving, as well as Rattlesnake. Trying to make their way up into the top three. And do well for their nation here in the first race of Glass Car. Volcano holding that lead. Nitro trying to move back in front, taken to the left sides, got him! Around the outside of the curve, and Nitro is going to move back into first place. Ivory falling back, back, but you see Rattlesnake now up into fourth place as well, working his way up, started in seventh place. But you look at Rainforest all the way down in seventh after starting in that pole position, as he hesitated to move off to the right side at the start. Nitro still holding fast in the front. Volcano, the rookie, doing the best he can to weave through the chicanes. But he's getting hung up on the side a lot, losing a lot of speed here on these final curves on each of the lap. Lap six we're in now. And these guidelines certainly sticking out a bunch, really messing with these marble speed and pulling on their agility to win the day here. See Angel all the way down in 12th place right now. That's not where she wants to be. But... She's very composed on the course. I think she's good. Oh, look at that. As I say that, jumps up into 8th place. Look at that. Angel up into 8th from 12th. And now we're going to leave Dragon's Tail down at the bottom. He started at the bottom. He's still at the bottom. No challenge mounted from him at all yet. We'll have to see how the rest of this race goes. Look at that volcano weaving around Ivory. Agility on the course is wonderful here. Volcano on that left lane. Taking the outside line. And staying in front. Dragon's Tail. Up into 11th place as Black Shadow now takes that last place spot. Ivory on Volcano's tail. Drafting for some speed. But it's not going to get around him. Look at Volcano moving around Nitro as he hesitates at the guideline. And Volcano's going to grab that top spot. Look at Ivory with some collisions there. Around the outside curve trying to catch up the Volcano. But every time she moves, Volcano moves in front. Another cutoff from Volcano. And it's not going to happen. Ivory now left behind a few inches there as Volcano 
not only aware of what's going on in front of him, but also the movement behind him. That's how he stays in front of Ivory here, moving in front of him or cutting her off and dubbing her momentum. Ivory. Now battling with Nitro, having some trouble with Nitro. Look at that right there. Overtakes her on the inside line of that curve. Nitro has not given up yet. Now Rockslide, the veteran, up into fourth place. Good to see him there. Rainforest also making some moves back. Volcano dropping back into third place. With Nitro now reestablishing the lead. It's been a battle between these three, but Rockslide says, let me get in on this action. As he's uh, hot on their tail up into fourth place here. Look at some movement there from Rainforest. Rattlesnake really knocking into him there. Some aggressive movements from Rattlesnake. He's going to stay in front of Rainforest for the moment. Nitro holding that top spot as Rockslide up into second place. Slow and steady, Rockslide is overtaking each of these competitors. Ivory is not catching up. Ooh, hit off that guideline. Both marbles do, though. And it's the same distance. Volcano, the rookie, has dropped back a little bit. Only lap 12, so still plenty of room for him to move right now. See how that speed moves. Look at Volcano moving back and forth through those chicanes. Weaving very, very skillfully. We will see how he approaches these top three. It's going to be hard to get past all three of these marbles to get to the top. But if there's anyone up to the challenge, it's the rookie Volcano. Not much movement from his rival Pacifica, who's back in 10th place, staying in front of Dragon's Tail and Black Shadow at best. And look at that volcano moving around Rockslide as Rockslide slows down on the one guideline there. Taking advantage of all the mistakes these other marbles are making. Volcano is one of the most aware marbles on the track so far. Certainly some mistakes here and there, but you can't blame him. These elite competitors, there's no way you can be perfect every time. But Volcano was certainly able to capitalize on the bad movements of other teammate um, of other racers. And almost did it there with Ivory, but Ivory straightened herself out. Holding to that left lane now. I, uh, Volcano looking on the inside line, trying to stay in front of Rockslide. Not the easiest movement for him. Rattlesnake, you see there. Trying to catch up there back there in six. Rainforest had overtaken him. Oh, look at that. Rock slide making a move for Nitro. Around the outside line. Nitro cutting on the inside. And he's going to stay in front. A tough movement there. Oh, these marbles are still holding all their speed. A lot of energy today. In race one, a glass car. Nitro. What a surprise, out in front, yes, out speed, but usually the reckless racing can get him in trouble. But he's really holding them off right now. He's smarting it up for this race. Ivory has moved up into second. Volcano, now jumped past Rock Slide, into third. Off the... Off the barrier there. Volcano pinballing back and forth between those guidelines and it is all Nitro's race right now Ivory is doing everything she can to catch up but it is not happening Nitro had a couple of hiccups during the race so far but as we head into lap 18 it is straightened out in his favor and first place belongs to Nitro Take a look, you see Rockslide now back in the sixth place. Dragon's Tail and Penguin now at the bottom. Not good looks for them for their first race. Look at that Rattlesnake moving up into fourth place. Some moves from him. And Ivory is slipping away at this point. Lap 19, and Ivory's down into fifth place. She was up in second for most of the race, but now Rattlesnake is making his moves. Moving around Rainforest, now moving around Volcano as he shoots up the self-propulsion system. It is Rattlesnake to try to challenge Nitro. Out of nowhere, he works his way up right at the end, and there's one lap to go. Rattlesnake is the only one who seems to have the chance to put an end to Nitro's reign. Ivory has dropped back to six. A tough look for her. Volcano, followed by Rockslide and Rainforest here. 
in the 3-4-5 spots. Nitro in the lead still. Rattlesnake, second place. The gap is huge. I think it's too much. And Nitro with a final bump off the barrier comes across the finish line in first place. Nitro is your victor for glass car race run. Rattlesnake follows just behind, followed by the veteran Rock Slide Volcano, the rookie. A decent performance landing in fourth. Rainforest does decent for his pole position in fifth. Ivory in sixth. Angel was able to jump back up to seventh. Canarium, Black Shadow Pacifica, Dragon's Tail, and unfortunately for Penguin, last place in the first race, the Sunstorm Grand Prix. Unfortunate finish, but for Nitro, a celebratory night as well as Rattlesnake. Great finishes for them. A good comeback from Rattlesnake who shot up into the end at the end. Shot up into second place in the last lap, the last couple of laps. And Volcano had the fastest lap in this race as well with a time of 24.112. Certainly the rookie was moving it quick for most of the race, but eventually tired out a little bit and could not keep up with Nitro the whole time. Next event is Sunstorm Circuit 2 next week join us then see how this race continues to unfold do a quick look at some of the replays look at the start see how rainforest immediately rolled off to the right side there and already let marbles in front canarium had the lead at first but the slew of marbles behind him just overwhelmed him immediately and he got stuck back in the pack there for most of the race ivory who came out of the chaos in the lead, held that top spot and battled with Nitro for most of this race. But it really is the end of the race that matters. The finish is the most important part. And Ivory was not able to stay up there with Nitro for the last few laps. Got a good look at Volcano as well, the rookie this season. Youngest competitor. Having some times with first place as well as some good collisions, and his awareness on the track was masterful. Some good plays against Ivory there to stay in front. And you see that he will be a competitor to contend with. Pacifica, the rival, is not really showing much in the way of the speed he's supposed to have. But looking at the podium here for the first race, Nitro in first, Rattlesnake second, and again, Rock Slide in third. You ask fans of Dragon's Tale at this point how they felt going into race two of the Sunstorm GP. Their answer would be nothing less than dissatisfied. But with Dragon's Tale starting in sixth for this race, hopefully their answer will change by the end. Angel will be our pole sitter today, followed by Black Shadow and Ivory. Nitro, the winner of the first Grand Prix here in Glasscar, is pulling up in seventh to start. Certainly jumbled up the place starting in this race. Very different from race one. I couldn't tell you who will take the victory today. Certainly it's a jumble. Of course two sectors today. A couple of 90s then hit that self propulsion system shooting up into that second sector which kind of has a back and forth look to it. Two hairpins and in between, a bunch of very slight but dirty curves that really mess with these marbles speed and momentum. We'll see how they handle it. The lights have all lit up and we are rolling Angel moving to the right out of the pole center position in Black Shadow. Couple collisions there as they head to the self propulsion system here in lap one. 27 laps today will account for race two of the Sunstorm GP. Ivory has darted into the lead as we head through lap one. Coming round to that starting gate for the first time. And it is Ivory, Black Shadow right behind. And I think that's Nitro up there in third place. Very good starting for him. And he's all the way up into second. Are we gonna see another run from this competitor? This speed hungry competitor. Penguin has also darkened the top three. But not before Rattlesnake has something to say about it as he moves around him and grabs third place here in lap two. And lap three is coming up here. 
Let's take a look at Angel, who has dropped back to ninth already. Not the kind of performance that the fans of Angel were expecting, especially after that very fast qualifying lap that she gave. Volcano also suffering down in 12th place. But Eyes are really on Dragon's Tail right now. He's in 6th right now overall. Holding that position, so far no changes in his placement really since the beginning of the race. Oh look at that Rattlesnake darting around. Nitro in Pacifico, oh hit from behind from Penguin and Nitro is actually going to be shot forward but it's certainly he's going to be out of short swords from that. Hopefully no concussions will ensue on the field. Nitro moving on the inside line around Dragon's Tail. Dragon's Tail has jumped into third place now. Will Dragon's Tail be able to turn around from his first performance in race one and come back with a solid win here in race two or at least a top three? Right now it's looking good for him as he is holding that third place position right now. Back in the pack there, Penguin drops down a couple of places as Angel slams into him from behind. And Black Shadow, who started in second overall, is now taking up residence in last place. But these marbles have all the speed they need. Those attenuators which have been removed for this race have certainly allowed the marbles more space to move around and gain some more speed and keep things moving along in the race. Those 27 laps will go by so quickly with that new addition. Ivory slowing down, having trouble with those slight curves there, and Nitro keeping in front. Some collision from Ivory, but it only helped Nitro out. You can't let your anger get you on the course. I know when you get past on the course, your first inclination is let me slam into that racer and knock him off his feet or his marble, you could say, but um, Ivory actually hampered her own situation there, but she recovers back in front, and Volcano out of nowhere is now back at the top. We're We're seeing a similar situation as saw back in the first race. Ivory, Volcano, Nitro, Rattlesnake all at the top. Canarium making a jaunt up there as well. And Pacifica starting to drop down. Rock Slide. Funny enough, moving his way up, maybe to balance out that top four, as we saw in the previous race. Will it really be four or five marbles dominating the races this time? Black Shadow is down at the bottom, and so is Angel and Penguin, as per before, but Dragon's Tail, moving up a bunch of places there, is going to try to say something about that. Volcano is holding that lead above Ivory. And he's moving to the left side around the longer curve not really staying towards the inside lane maybe more speed is coming from him there but rattlesnake a couple aggressive moves around ivory he's gonna grab second place and gonna try to put a challenge on volcano ivory moving around the outside line trying to hit rattlesnake from behind rattlesnake now does that to volcano hitting him from behind and moving ahead through the propulsion system how does it come out rattlesnake in the lead volcano Slowing down to a crawl here. Ivory. But look at Dragon's Tail threading the needle between Ivory as she moves back and forth through those curves and through Volcano, taking the inside line. Volcano tries to slam into him from the side, grabs back the lead momentarily. Dragon's Tail, a good move on the inside there. Held the lead for a second, but is now slowed down by that outside curve, and Volcano will run away with it here for a moment. Dragon's Tail. Certainly a new performance here. The fans of Dragon's Tail are really on the edge of their seat here as he moves back and forth, sometimes up there into second place, now back into fifth. Will he emerge victorious here? You can see Black Shadow from Rock Slide battling it a little bit there. Not really much speed coming from them at the moment. And Penguin lagging behind in 12th place momentarily. Rattlesnake at the top now. Volcano right behind him. Ivory, Nitro, and Dragon's Tail. Round out that top five. Eyes are really in Dragon's Tail as Ivory 
runs into second place here. Is Dragon's Tail going to be able to hold his positions as Rockside comes right up behind him? Or is he going to let the other marble scare him? You see Volcano jump over that attenuator there as he crossed the line. I don't know if that helped him a lot, but it certainly is now running right up on Ivory's tail. But he bounces through those couple of curves and is now going to struggle. Ivory now moving around Rattlesnake on the outside line. Sometimes that outside line has proven to give in more speed to these marbles. And you saw it there. As Rattlesnake struggled to stay in front of Ivory there and did not through the end of that lap. We are heading into lap 20 and Ivory is our leader. Rattlesnake certainly not given up by any stretch of the imagination. You can see he's a little bit bouncy right now. When he straightens himself out, he is a true marble to contend with out there on the course. Pacifica has now made an appearance in the top four. Oh, a ram from Nitro into Pacifica has only shot him above Volcano here. Marbles need to watch their collisions out on the course. Collisions are fine. Collisions are great. And there's been an accident evolving Penguin. I'm not really sure what's happening with him. He's in the red here, and he might be out of the race. Is he out of the race? I think he might be out of the race. Are we going to get any sort of replay on that? But here it is. Penguin on the right side spun up and got stuck on the corner of the track. Didn't pop off. But all momentum is gone, and Penguin is out of this race. Look at him. He's just sitting there. He's become a spectator on the field. And all you can say for Angel at this point is that she will not finish in 12th. But her fans are hoping she's going to be able to rise above 11th here. But as I was saying before, collisions are amazing out on the course. But if they're used in the wrong way, you can almost push marbles that you're colliding with forward. Fastest lap seems to be with Rattlesnake right now, 19.622. And he's going to stand about 2.7 seconds ahead of Ivory. Let's refocus back on our leaders here. Rattlesnake in first place, followed by Ivory, Volcano, Rainforest, Canarium. Dragon's Tail has dropped back to eighth place. It's been a wild race for him up and down the whole time. And now he's starting to falter. Rattlesnake seems to be in the clear here, and Ivory is making some moves, but has to gain quite a bit of ground if she's going to make any challenges. On the other side of the corner here, Angel is still in trouble down in 11th place. Ivory now only 1.5 behind Rattlesnake. The gap has decreased by about a second. And Rainforest has jumped above Volcano and shown that he's here to race as well. We are into the final lap, lap 27, and Rattlesnake is your leader. Is he going to be able to hold through to the end? Rattlesnake moving around this hairpin here. Second to last hairpin, that penultimate hairpin. Bounces through those curves. The final hairpin is at hand. Around he goes, hitting the edge of that border, and comes across in first place. Ivory follows shortly, about three seconds behind. Rainforest, Volcano, Pacifica, Nitro, Canarium, Rockslide, Black Shadow. See Rattlesnake taking his victory lap there. And Angel and Dragon's Tail follow suit. Dragon's Tail, unfortunately, ended in 11th place yet again. He started decently and actually made his way up to about third, even second place for a moment, but couldn't close the door. And even Angel was able to finish above him. Rattlesnake also picked up the fastest lap here, happening in tw lap 23 with a 19.6 about. And you can see that Rattlesnake has taken over the standings. Four points above Nitro here. With two podiums so far to his name. Ivory, another solid race for her, finishing in second. And Rainforest, poking his head up into the top, finishing in third. Now is a great time for a couple of replays from the race. Take a look at these marbles as they pop out their angel immediately moving to the right. Another mistake as we saw from Rainforest in the first race. That pole sitter tends to dive off to the right as soon as the race begins. 
And we saw that here with Angel, who then got stuck, bounding between the marbles. Too many collisions. And she kind of lost that momentum real quickly. Ivory Nitro were the first to emerge here. The race turned to soon turned in Rattlesnake's way. Rattlesnake is one of the best racers I've ever seen in marble sports. Just the his ability to weave around other marbles. To avoid collisions. Uh, the great replay right there showing that. A lot of marbles in his way, but actually weave through them instead of trying to mess up with the collisions. Collisions are helpful, but too many of them can actually dampen your own momentum. And it's not the best way to proceed when you try to get to the top. First place racers in glass car will avoid collisions and focus on moving past marbles. Again, another perfect example of Rattlesnake showing that he is the real deal. Did not even touch those two, just ran right past them like they weren't even there. And Penguin, a notable disappointment for him as he gets stuck on the end there. An unexpected change of events for Penguin. He's going to have a lot of work to do if he wants to make up time in Glass Heart. But with that, the podium music begins to play, and we will see our victors upon the podium. Rattlesnake again in first, followed by Ivory in second, and Rainforest in third. To round out the podium in Race to a Glass Heart.